around this day. Creative you. is how you're doing out there. I hope you're enjoying this month. It's a very interesting one. We got a double fire, <laughs> so that could show up in quite interesting ways um, in your life this month. And um, I think for myself, I've really been having to keep a close eye on getting not getting too too fiery in myself to kind of not lose my temper about things. My first reaction would be like that, you know, the fuse would be lit. And then I'd have to kind of calm down and tone it down and, and, and step back and actually not react, just take time before I make any decisions, just, just take, you know, give it a bit of time. That counting to ten thing <laughs> has come in handy uh, this month. And also being around water, you know, going down and swimming in the sea and swimming in swimming pools, cooling myself down, being surrounded by water. And I've been incorporating water, um, the element of water, into my flows this month to help me stay in balance. So the, the way to kind of incorporate water into your yoga flows is these circular movements, working with this lovely fluid organic approach, just really kind of being loose and free in the body. Even when you're doing your sun salutations, you can just have these beautiful kind of organic movements flowing through. And just opening the heart as well, just doing these lovely kind of, you know, um, forward bands just going up and then releasing forward and coming around again, you know, just doing all this kind of stuff, taking your time and breathing and just working with this idea of being fluid, being loose and fluid, just working with circular movements, just enjoying that lightness and then go into a sun salute or something like that, go into the power, find the power. Um, anything to do with balances, activates the core of course, so incorporating some standing balances. Um, you know, just really have fun with it. I think that's the thing. Weave in the water to make sure that you're not overheating. You know, that's the thing. And you're staying at the right side of the fire. And when you can harness the fire, that's when you become powerful. So little challenges will come up this month for you to play with that idea of being the leader, of being in charge and sorting something out and just grab hold of those opportunities and give it a go. And you learn by giving things a go, I find. Um, I've been, I'm getting better at it, definitely. And the more I do it, um, the, better, the, the more positive outcomes I get. And I definitely have no problem in seeking advice if I need it, um, so that I know that I know what I'm talking about, and then I go in there. And having all the information, I've, I've really done my research and then I know that I can actually get a good outcome. That's kind of how I approach it. So it's that queen of swords, just being very, very clear and just cutting through the rubbish and getting to the truth. That's kind of how I go about any kind of conflicts or problems that, that show up. And it doesn't matter where it is. I mean, for me this month it's been showing up in finances. So I always find that's to do with your foundations, feeling safe in the world. But I'm noticing that stuff doesn't rock me anymore like it used to. It used to freak me out, you know, whenever I had financial drama. But now I'm like, okay, what's the problem? Let's find a solution. You know, I feel very calm about the whole thing and I just navigate it um, much more peacefully than I used to. So again, it's about owning your power. Stepping into that leadership energy, which is so exciting when you start to break free of that victim mindset, which us women are very programmed to, to really buy into, by the way, um, we become the masters of our destiny, or the mistresses of our destiny, or the goddesses of our destiny, I think I quite like that, the goddesses of our destiny. Um, and we, we start to really live our lives, which is, is just amazing. When you see women start to blossom and grow, it's because they've really started to take ownership of their story, of their lives. So this month is about playing with that. Just have fun with it, you know? Just see what comes up and see it as a challenge and you learn from it. You learn. You learn and grow every single time and you get better and better with every time you kind of, um, you give things a go. All right, so let's choose a card for you today. So this is, these are the goddesses. I'm into the goddesses at the moment. Let's choose a goddess card. What do the creative yogis need to know right now? Purification. Co Covent Coventina. This is a time of cleansing, detoxing of your body and soul. So of course, you know, that's another way the fire kind of works through. It just, you know, like the sweating and things like that. It's, it's 
cleansing and cleansing your life, cleansing your body, you know, it gives you a chance to clear away what no longer serves you. So that's kind of the big picture understanding of the fire element right there. Isn't that beautiful? Just put it right up close for you to see. There you go, isn't she beautiful? And that's you guys out there. That's where you're at. That's what you're doing right now. That's your energy. Isn't that amazing? I love that she looks like a mountain. Beautiful stuff. All right. So that's it for me today. Have a lovely week. Namaste.